Hello. In this uh, video, let us understand uh, the roadmap for learning data engineering. So basically, data engineering, as you might be aware of, uh, currently it's a booming uh, technology or booming domain uh, to learn and expertise, uh, and definitely you can get a benefit out of it. So in this uh, video, let us learn. Uh, I mean how to learn and what are the topics to learn so we are not going into the deep dive of each topics here so the intention of this video is to kind of understand what what should be your plan of learning if you are intended to learn data engineering a data engineer concept right data engineering concepts so suppose if you are a new and if you are very in the initial stage of understanding data engineering and learning data engineering right so this video is for you so it will definitely help you kind of understand which are the uh, areas uh, which are the technology areas or the concepts that you need to concentrate uh, and learn so that you can create a checklist and uh, you can start learning one by one so before uh, proceeding if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed for this channel we would recommend you to please uh, subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started. So uh, first let us uh, understand what is a prerequisite to begin. So uh, yeah, I mean definitely there are some skill set uh, that we can concentrate to learn. Uh, but before getting started, uh, before learn, uh, uh, before actually started uh, getting started learning data engineering, right? So you should be uh, clear about few concepts. So without this concept, you cannot start or you cannot jump to learn data engineering concepts. So these are very basic things. So, uh, so these are the three things I would recommend. Uh, so you should be having actually already if you are uh, watching this video and if you are uh, in a in a point where you want to learn data engineering, right? I am expecting uh, you to know these three things. What are what are these uh, these three things? Are uh, basic uh, programming fundamentals, right? So when I say programming fundamentals, uh, you can be good at in any programming language, maybe C, C++, Java, Python. So any any one programming language and uh, basic data structures, right? Like linked list, array, uh, and uh, what, what, what are the list operations? What are the array operations? Uh, so at least those kind of concepts uh, you should be very clear at. Okay. And uh, the next is a SQL. So SQL uh, definitely this is the very core uh, one of the core area that uh, I mean every any data engineer should know but uh, at least to, before getting started to learn itself uh, so you should be knowing some basics of SQL okay like uh, it might be uh, uh, basic joins it may be indexing it might be uh, creating a relationship between tables understanding the basic uh, connection between uh, uh, tables right and why are you using different joins how to uh, like uh, basic uh, performance optimization like indexing and other things creating views so those things uh, you should be knowing uh, uh, before uh, getting started to data engineering right and uh, the third most important thing i would recommend you should have an analytical mindset because if you really think right like uh, every person have their own uh, kind of a skill set and by intuition you should be knowing the, what is your skill set like uh, you should definitely have the analytical mindset uh, otherwise uh, it will be very difficult to actually sense uh, and learn the data engineering concepts right so people uh, might uh, start learning data engineering without understanding their core capabilities so if you are not at not good in analytical uh, mindset uh, so I, I don't say it is impossible but it is quite difficult to learn and understand data engineering concepts so just uh, just see yourself uh, you should be knowing that uh, you have an analytical mindset so if not uh, start uh, i mean understanding and start start having that analytical mindset uh, if you are really interested to learn data engineering concepts right so these are very basic things if you are not sure about uh, i mean any of this concept or if you are very uh, very beginner level right so i would recommend you to please uh, go through the tutorials uh, in the youtube or uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, basically, if you are from the computer science background, I uh, I mean I'm expecting definitely you should be having these kind of uh, languages, uh, uh, languages and the SQL uh, you might have learned actually programming languages, right? But if you are non-computer science background uh, and if you are not sure about these concepts, uh, I would recommend you to please go through YouTube videos uh, for free courses, and also there are a lot of uh, free uh, sources available, so if you if you can learn, right? 
so now these are the prerequisites and now let us jump to the actual topics so this is a roadmap right so this is how the roadmap will look actually if you want to learn or if you want to master data engineering okay so the very basic concepts is the data warehousing concept and the data mart concepts so these are very uh, very basic concepts i am uh, i mean i'm explaining here so understand what is data warehouse understand what is data mart so in this video i'm not going to explain any of this in the detail but uh, i'll definitely uh, you can see in my in, in our channel you can definitely see uh, these in details uh, detail video if there are a few are missing you can definitely see in future uh, we will go through all of this concept in very great detail but uh, so in this video we are just explaining what are the checklist you can prepare a checklist so that okay if you, if you want to learn or if you want to master data engineering just prepare uh, keep this checklist in uh, with you and you can start studying and uh, uh, one by one basically understanding one by one right so definitely data warehousing data mart is first thing and olap and oltp understanding them and understanding the difference between them and uh, etl elt so we also have uh, prepared videos for etl elt olap and oltp so i'll uh, put this in the description you can go go through them and uh, there are types of data for that also we have uh, uh, we'll put the video in the description you can go and check that apart from that uh, you can also learn uh, uh, different uh, you can use the different resources in youtube and other uh, uh, other uh, uh, outside sources uh, to learn these topics basic topics so this is about very basic topics you need to learn so there are different types of data right like structure semi structured unstructured data so how do you process them so i mean why there are a lot of data uh, types of data right so so what are the sources of data, these data so understand this concept very very basic concepts and next definitely the programming language is the second important thing uh, where uh, either you uh, spark i would recommend spark is a basic very basic programming language along with spark uh, you can master either scala or python okay spark is a must and the scala and python you can choose uh, as a beginner you can choose either of one but i would recommend uh, python as a uh, because it's mostly widely used in the industry compared to scala nowadays so if you learn python and spark it it is like a py spark as a programming language uh, which will give the cutting edge for your uh, um, resume right and uh, data, data structures uh, as uh, definitely data structures you should be knowing at least basic but if you are targeting a very uh, like very big companies and uh, very uh, good product based companies uh, so definitely i would recommend uh, you to master data structures otherwise uh, as a beginner you can just learn the basic of data structures right and uh, spark data frame operations uh, is another important uh, concept because i mean as a data engineer like uh, so mostly when you are playing with data it will be uh, using the data frames uh, using spark data frames and understanding spark is very crucial and also code and memory optimization so when you do a any kind of a coding so optimizing that code is important and also concentrating on the memory also is very important because if you are writing a code if it is not optimized uh, so then it's of no use if it is taking a lot of time to process and other things it's of no use so please concentrate on uh, these concepts as well how do how do you optimize your code how do you take care of memory optimization how do you handle out of memory exceptions uh, how do you fine tune your, your uh, fine tune your uh, code and the data pipelines and also distributed computing and in memory processing distributed computing uh, is nothing but uh, like there be a master slave architecture uh, how do you distribute your master uh, cluster i mean master cluster to the worker worker nodes uh, basically there are worker nodes so if you are if you are uh, uh, if you understand the concept of hadoop uh, like the basics of hadoop right here uh, the basics of hadoop is important uh, so hadoop uh, stands like a uh, basics for distributed computing so if you understand the con basic concepts of hadoop uh, it will definitely talk about distributed computing how do you kind of uh, distribute your uh, workloads uh, to the different uh, worker nodes uh, and uh, how, how how can you make the things uh, and the processing faster and also in memory processing is also important so we will bring up a few videos about uh, in memory processing in future so these uh, these are the programming languages when you are talking about programming languages these are the key areas uh, that you need to concentrate and coming to uh, coming to tools and technologies uh, 
so there are a lot of ingestion integration tools uh, uh, in the market today there is a talent dtl there is a azure data factory there is a aws glue for ingestion and integration kind of activities uh, uh, there is a altrix uh, which is a which is a good uh, tool for a small data data sets again so these kind of tools uh, just master these kind of tools so how do you kind of uh, use them for the ingestion and integration of the data from different sources and different target systems and the next is a visualization you have definitely a power bi you have a databricks dashboard you have a, a tab a tableau is there so these are the different uh, visualization tools so that you can uh, learn so visualization as a data engineer don't concentrate much uh, as a, a, at, a, at a very initial level if you are at a very beginner right so i would recommend you not to concentrate too much about it but just understand the uh, importance of visualization tools and uh, uh, why they are used for right so and uh, transformation and coding coding interface right so this transformation when you talk about uh, so this is a very key area where you are actually do your programming uh, uh, use your programming language and you transform your data so here uh, the best examples are uh, databricks okay, jupyter notebooks and uh, so the such kind of a, a programming language tool so that you use uh, to do other to do the data transformations so going to the next uh, if you see the, the the next concept is cloud concepts right so you need to understand the different uh, cloud technologies i would recommend choose any one of these uh, at, as a beginner right so as a beginner choose either aws or azure as a skill stack okay and learn uh, the data engineering concept in azure and uh, aws and uh, so there are different uh, topics uh, basic topics uh, as a data lake right in the cloud uh, if you talk about azure it is adls if you talk about uh, big data it is hdfs and if you talk about azure it is Am uh, amazon uh, uh, aws right uh, it will be amazon s3 bucket so these are the data lake concept where uh, which is a storage solution and as a compute solution we have a databricks which is the market leader in uh, nowadays so uh, you can learn about databricks as well and as an integration, uh, definitely Azure Data Factory in Azure and AWS Glue in uh, Amazon uh, or in, in AWS, definitely. So these are the basic cloud concept. But if you talk about Azure skill set for data engineering, AWS skills for data uh, set for data engineering, there are a lot of technologies uh, comes in for storage, integration, APIs, real time data processing. So there are uh, subsequent technologies inside uh, all of uh, each of these uh, uh, cloud vendors uh, so i would recommend you to start learning those uh, concept and uh, as a beginner take either aws or azure as your choice uh, and do some basic certifications of for data engineering right and uh, yeah so apart from the, the all these uh, things that we have seen uh, the, the final things are like uh, learn any of one any one of these uh, which are basically the no no no, no sql dbs uh, hive mongodb cosmos cosmos db and cassandra so understand what is no sql why we use no sql uh, and the basic concepts of them right so it, it will be quite helpful and also understand about uh, kafka azure event hub iot event hub so if you are uh, working choosing uh, aws as your skill set understand aws kinesis uh, so these will help you uh, process uh, uh, the real time data basically right uh, so it is not only the batch data that you will be processing as a data engineer it will always uh, also process the real time data so just concentrate to learn uh, both kind of uh, uh, technologies like batch processing and real time pro uh, technologies when you talk about real time so then these kind of technologies will come into picture so have them in your checklist uh, for learning right and finally, uh, you should be knowing any uh, CI, CD and DevOps uh, tools. Uh, if you talk about Azure, there is Azure DevOps, uh, uh, CI, CD pipelines are there, build release. Similarly, in AWS, there will be technologies to do uh, similar activities and deploy. Uh, basically, there is a Docker, Kubernetes uh, for uh, doing the DevOps. Uh, uh, basically, here, what we do is here, we deploy our code from one environment to another environment using a continuous integration and continuous deployment. Uh, so this is also important to understand as a data engineer so hope uh, this was uh, quite useful uh, and uh, so here is where uh, you just uh, i would recommend you to prepare the checklist of all these uh, what we've gone through and start learning each one of this and uh, as a as a youtube channel uh, or as a 
course content we'll be giving all these uh, topics uh, in, in our youtube channel so i would recommend you to subscribe for this channel and also share with your friends uh, uh, and uh, we will help uh, you to uh, learn uh, data engineering concepts in detail finally as a bonus tip i would uh, also recommend you to kind of uh, understand uh, the concept of data modeling right so data modeling is also very critical uh, skill set uh, to understand the fact tables uh, dimension tables uh, and what is grains granularity and what is a slowly changing dimension scd1 and scd2 types uh, so these are also important to understand uh, and uh, finally it is very important to have uh, as mentioned uh, to have an uh, analytical mindset so hope this was useful thanks for watching.